फ्रेंड्स इस वीडियो में हम एक अलग इम्प्लांट के बारे में आज बात करेंगे ये है जेफायर का जेड एस आई हंड्रेड इम्प्लांट ये बेसिकली एक स्विट्जरलैंड बेस्ड कंपनी है जो कि इम्प्लांट्स इंडिया में अवेलेबल कराती हैं एंड दीज आर आल्सो कवर्ड इन द वारंटी एंड एज वी कैन सी इस इम्प्लांट के अंदर देर इज इट्स अ वेरी लॉन्ग इम्प्लांट विच इज हैविंग एक्सटेंशन और रियर टिप एक्सटेंडर्स एंड फ्रंट टिप एक्सटेंडर्स बोथ जो नॉर्मली और इम्प्लांट्स में नहीं होते इसमें पीछे और आगे के हिस्से में दोनों को ही हम कट कर सकते हैं और इसके अंदर एक वायर है जिसकी वजह से इट इज इजी टू बेंड एंड दिस वायर इज टेस्टेड अबाउट टेन थाउजेंड टाइम्स कि ये ब्रेक ना हो इसके ऊपर एक हाइड्रोफिलिक कोटिंग है विच आल्सो मेक्स इट वेरी इजी टू पुट एन इम्प्लांट सो वी डिड द फर्स्ट इम्प्लांट इन दिस रीजन एंड इसको करवाया एक बहुत ही स्पेशल पेशेंट ने जो कि बहुत ही अवेयर पेशेंट है एंड आज वो हम सबको गाइड करेंगे कि इम्प्लांट सर्जरी करानी चाहिए या नहीं और कैसे उन्होंने इस इम्प्लांट को चूज़ किया और अब वो कैसा फील कर रहे हैं सर सबसे पहले हम एक आई थिंक जो स्टार्ट करेंगे वो इससे कि इम्प्लांट तक पहुंचे कैसे हम क्यों हम इम्प्लांट की तरफ गए कब से प्रॉब्लम थी आपकी सो बेसिकली द प्रॉब्लम वाज देयर ओनली बट मोर इट स्टार्टेड आफ्टर आई गॉट मैरिड सो वेन यू कम इन टू रिलेशन आई नॉट एबल टू सस्टेन द रिएक्शन द प्रॉब्लम हैपन सो आई स्टार्ट विद लॉड ऑफ मेडिसिन Uh, I have taken allopathy, a lot and lot of kinds of allopathies, lot of drugs I've taken, um, and also I've tried Ayurveda, but it didn't help me even a bit. So uh, on searching more about this problem and getting cured, I came into. Um, uh, uh, so i learned about these implants which are fixed into your penis uh, and which after which you can just live your normal life and you mm-hmm. can do sexual intercourse as well mm-hmm. and uh, so after searching i um, uh, so i decided to visit the doctor about this and um, the, yeah after that i having a lot of uh, meetings with the doctor i decided to have the implant done so basically uh, what were the things that you thought Which which was was good about the implant. Mm-hmm. implant the 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 implant. not being helped with the medicines alone. So basically, medicine is a daily process. You know, you know, have to take it uh, whether the drugs there are. So you have to take it before you're doing the intercourse before two hours or one hour. So that's a necessity to take that. Absolutely. You know, sometimes you you just don't want to take it because it's such in the mood if you are going out with your spouse or in a hotel or something so wherever you know you can just get into mood any time so it's better to get something fixed and there all the time so you don't have to wait for the mood and to you know uh, to do it actually so and to avoid the mess of taking the medicines every day and so i thought of getting the implant done because that's a permanent thing and that's absolutely effortless i don't have to take any efforts to you know mm-hmm. get into bed after that or to think otherwise but then there's a lot of uh, performance uh, what do you call it uh, anxiety and anxieties and... over there so to avoid that it's uh, so i thought it's best to get them planned and i have i have taken a decision after watching i think thousands of the videos and visiting a lot and lot of doctors so that's how it is so it's very very effortless so i thought of uh, getting it done because i just want to uh, get, get rid of the medicines and whatsoever things or any intake of the Uh, allopathy or anything so, so basically uh, you know once we met i remember we discussed about a lot of options on the implants yeah. you know? so how did we choose with end up with this uh, zephyr implant so uh, uh, when i started searching about the implants the one thing which i was little concerned about was the um the uncomfortability of it because i didn't found any videos or some patient was talking about that it's, it's not uncomfortable or something another thing was the uh, higher bills so there were two things which i was a lot of concerned about but when i came here met you and uh, we discussed about it so this particular implant was new in the market and at one it was absolutely pocket friendly and it's bendable also so there's no uncomfortable in handling your penis because it's going to be erect and uh, erect forever now so uh, so that's why i chose this one and another thing it came into guarantee also so it's not like that someone have sold you and just elope they are there to help you out it is in the guarantee you get a card also done with that and uh, that's why i chose this one because it was one eco uh, eco friendly sorry pocket friendly and was bendable so it's very comfortable to hold wonderful so now we've got the surgery done mm-hmm. it's been some time now 3 days mm-hmm. and now we are going back home yeah so basically what i would like to first know is what were your apprehensions before the surgery what were you feeling like what mm-hmm. were the questions in your mind mm-hmm. and uh, before you came into the hospital or before you know starting the surgery what all was going on in your mind 
so one thing I was going, so I was actually not believing that when I'm getting the surgery done because I was uh, for last one and a half year of my marriage every day we, me and my wife are going through this dilemma of what to do and what not to do and uh, uh, so I, when I was at the core of getting it done so there was a lot of anxiety and uh, fear also of getting it done right and what if it won't get it there and mm. what if some infection would happen or something mm -hmm. so it was there but after the surgery it was nothing like that it was very very um, I would say a very friendly team of doctors who did the uh, operation and uh, I was just talking at the time of all the operation, I was just chit chatting with all the doctors. So it was very, very comfortable. And after that, there was just one day of feeling a little uncomfortable because I was having bandage over there. Uh, and after that, it's fine. There's a little uh, like a wee bit of the pain for the uh, obvious reasons because there are some stitches. But now I'm absolutely fine. There's no um, extra. Uh, you know, an extra device feeling over there or something. There's nothing like that. It's so you're already feeling that, you know, the implant is a part of the body more or less. Yes, absolutely. It's very easy okay. to, I mean, you won't even know that there's something inserted into uh, mm -hmm. your part. It's very comfortable. And what about the sensations around? So can you feel everything like you used to feel? I could surgery? feel even after the anesthesia went out. Mm -hmm. So I just started feeling everything very normally and I didn't feel anything which is extra bulging out or something. So it's very, very normal. You'll feel the normal girth and normal length of your part. So mm -hmm. it's very comfortable. Okay, and uh, what are your comments about preserving the length? Do you think the length remains almost same? What about the girth? Are you uh, are you satisfied with the ultimate outcome it, of the uh, implant? Yes, it is. The, the girth is same, absolutely same because there's no uh, flesh which is, has been taken out. Okay. And uh, yeah, the length is also uh, absolutely normal, which okay. uh, is there, which, uh, which is there after the Sorry. erection also. And it's absolutely perfect to have an intercourse after it gets normal so we hope that you know after the surgery you will you will be able to get what you dreamt of yeah. and uh, you know in this coming few weeks after six weeks when we'll be able to you know make use of the implant we'll kind of know things much more in depth and with more clarity uh, Absolutely. Uh, anything else that you would like to say to guide patients who are basically looking for getting implants or who are thinking twice about getting implants so absolutely if, if you are uh, you know if you if you already tried the medicines as nothing is working for you mm. think that is the end of the world so you absolutely can opt for an implant it is very normal it's very uh, comfortable and it will definitely give you what you actually wanted what was missing into your life and then live a normal life after that because i'm already feeling like that it's just third day of my surgery and I have been uh, made felt very very comfortable with it so I think if you're ap even one percent doubtful about the medicines you're taking don't working just go for the implant and uh, as Dr. Raman have suggested me uh, this uh, implant which I have get done it's very easy it's pocket friendly also and it's very durable is what I think so I think just don't be into the doubt just contact and get it done asap if you are just tired of it. thank you so much uh, sachin i think uh, not everybody will need an implant there are many patients who do not have a very severe problem like we did so uh, many patients can still do it well with medicines if they just have some psychological issues but if yes. you have a real problem yeah. then yes implant is a very good solution and i think people should be willing to accept it as we see more and more pe people are now willing to accept an implant they're coming forth for the surgery uh, like you saw that you know one after the other we have the implant surgeries going on one patient goes the other patient comes in so that's that's what we're seeing in today's world that uh, you know people are coming up embracing the implant as a good solution to erectile dysfunction it is. so so probably we'll we'll again have a word with you in the future and understand your views on the surgery and the results sure i Thank look you. forward to that.